Hi friends, today I am running a planet experiment, I am trying to work on probably cheapest possible laptop for iOS development, that is 2013 MacBook Air. Yes, 7 years old MacBook and I am trying to run my work projects on it. We'll see how that works and yeah, why such kind of experiment? On Saturday my MacBook Pro died, my 16 inch one, and I had to do something to be ready for work on Monday and I had only 2013 iron and I will try to work on that. Ironically, <laughs> but I sold my Mac Mini a week ago. My first instinct was run and buy something new, but then I was start thinking we will have Apple event on Tuesday, it's kind of interesting to see what will be presented. I can try to survive for at least few days on that 13 inch MacBook Air. And then I started thinking that this could be interesting experiment to see is it usable still today. And there are plenty of guys around who don't have a big budget for iOS development and maybe this is good solution for them. So why do not try? That is what we are doing today and yeah, if you are new here, my name is Ivers Meyers, I am freelance iOS developer, welcome to my channel, like and subscribe buttons are down below if you will decide to stay around and hit that subscribe button, it will be really appreciated. So let's jump in and see how that old piece of gear is working. Oh boy, it is already sh <laughs> throwing warnings to me. So. <laughs> And uh, one workday is finished on this temporary setup. I spent all the Monday working on my projects on this setup. And of course I have strong opinion about this setup. Is it possible to use it for iOS development at all? And how good or bad it is? Of course it is not fantastic. This uh, MacBook Air how i5 1.3 or 1.4 megahertz processor and just 4 gigabytes of RAM. For 16 inch MacBook Pro I had absolutely different setup, I had 49 inch uh, wide screen and this 4K screen was just a secondary monitor. Of course 13 inch MacBook Air can't handle that 49 inch screen. I removed that from table to make more clear workspace and and this screen working right now on 2560 to 1440. Whatever <laughs> monitor would work, I have 4K, cheap 4K monitor, but uh, even cheaper monitor could be used. And 2013 MacBook Air, check how much it costs on your, I don't know, local cracks list. It's few hundred uh, euros, maybe maybe three, maybe 400 euros. Basically, my headphones, keyboard and mice will cost more than <laughs> that MacBook Air. So that's very funny and balanced setup I have here. So, but enough talking about that, let's jump into the details, how I use it, it during my day, what I find working, what I find not working. Basically, is it works? Uh, yes, so let's try to compile Let's close this project. Machine is very slow. No rush at all. So let's take a look on a project where everything is in code. So this is project without storyboards at all. Everything is in code. I started to compile the project. This one will compile very fast. Actually, no problems here to work on such kind of project with this machine. Come on, <laughs> a little bit more. It's launching, believe me. So it is here. Uh, if you will use your phone uh, instead of simulator, it will work even faster. So testing on phone will save you for you some processor power and RAM as well. It works. It's still useful machine. So and actually this is quite big project. There is different screens. But that doesn't matter, everything is in code and it's easy to handle for this machine. Let's take a look on another project. This one is Swift UI project. This one will take a bit more time. But uh, launch time is still reasonable fast. And currently we are looking in this project and in last project, the previous project, it was um, First build, first build is slowest one and after that, after small changes, all each incremental builds will be much faster. So it's launching. So again, 
uh, on a device it could be already launched on device or launched a little bit faster. So we have app launched on simulator. Simulator looks works reasonably fast. No problems actually with that. It works reasonably fast. You can click around the app and so on and everything actually works and that is not so bad at all. And what I see here problems, you will see problems with Swift UI uh, previews, but those will still work as well. So is this machine is uh, nice and fun to use? No, <laughs> definitely no. But uh, it is possible to run reasonable big projects and it's definitely fast enough for just learning development and work on small projects. So we have our preview already here. So I'm clicking through screens and those are working as well. A little bit slower response, not so fast. Like on simulator, not all screens are opening for some reason. Okay. I tested both those projects in my video when I compared 16 inch and uh, Mac mini and of course both projects was much faster on 16 inch MacBook Pro and Mac mini but not 10 times faster. One more project to mention is one storyboard heavy project. In my video when I compared Mac mini and uh, 2015 13 inch MacBook Pro. I tested the same project. On Mac Mini, that project was compiled very fast. It was 1 minute 48 seconds. On MacBook Pro 2015, it was already 3 minutes and 3 seconds. Significant difference. And on this MacBook Air, it was 4 minutes 42 seconds. So that's significant. But again, if you no one is buying today this machine for professional work and if you are looking for a machine to learn development usually you have more time than money and you can wait a little bit for this compiling uh, times and that probably is not so big problem for you if you getting I don't know 20, 50, 100, 200 dollars per hour of course you will not wait 5 minutes for compiling so that's difference when you are looking for machine for professional work or just for learning. Yeah, how I made this to work at all. Literally, this machine is <laughs> Xcode machine only. I had installed uh, Xcode 12 beta and Xcode 11 for currently ongoing projects and there was not enough space for both Xcode versions and I had lot of problems, I saw warnings, work in storyboards was very slow, basically everything was freezing, but as soon as I got, currently I don't have so much, I have 16 gigabytes free, but uh, in SSD, but that is enough for machine to have some space for, for hashing and it works already okay, because 4 gigabytes definitely is not enough for work. And I'm running nothing else right now and Zen Machine is able to compile projects and work with them. And uh, yeah, you are not able to run anything else on this machine, but <laughs> your programming environment and therefore there is no much reason to install something else. Basically I have development tools only, uh, GitHub client, Xcode, actually nothing else. All the other things that I am doing during the work that I am doing on iPad. This is 9.7 uh, inch uh, iPad Pro. I need Slack for my day-to-day -day work and yeah, music as well <laughs> because I am working from home. Email, basically all the communication is going here and I am also using this iPad for web browsing and so on when I need some documentation or something else. Of course, all the photo video editing that also uh, is done on uh, iPad and iPads are really good and powerful devices. Uh, 
this YouTube video is edited on iPads. It could be too hard to do on that MacBook Air, but even such old iPad can handle 4K video easily. Time for conclusion. Is it a good machine for professional work? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> of course no. No, it is not good machine for professional work and I do not suggest to buy this machine for freelancing or something else for learning. Yes, yes. Just to learn iOS development and start with Swift, start with even Swift UI and even with Swift UI previews, those are working. It's usable. For professional work, no, it is too slow. You will be frustrated because and you can't use this machine for anything else during development work. That is not uh, that is not easy because you can't uh, keep open multiple tabs with documentation. You can't keep open multiple tabs with code as well. That also will be uh, too much for this machine. Basically, I'm trying to keep open as less tabs in Xcode as possible as well because you have only four gigabytes of RAM on this machine. Uh, what will be still cheap but better choice 2015 13 inch macbook pro that is a small machine but you will already have 8 gigabytes of ram by default that i5 processor is much faster than here and you will get retina uh, display this display on on macbook almost unusable, too small, uncomfortable to use. And that uh, MacBook will be able to handle 4K uh, screen as well. With that machine, 2015 13 inch MacBook Pro, you could be able to freelance to do professional work, whatever. I used that machine uh, about one and a half year ago when I was waiting for 16 inch MacBook Pro release. And before I bought Mac Mini, I used it, yeah, that machine for professional work and a little bit slow, of course, not, not the fastest one, but it was fine. If you are looking for best machine for iOS development, I have a playlist especially for that. Take a look on uh, that playlist and yeah, thank you for watching. Leave the like if you like this video, subscribe if you not subscribed yet. Uh, I really appreciate every one of you and thank you for watching. See you on next one. Bye.